during the long run in Nutcracker, um, the way to, that I keep myself going is, um, of course, a resting and, and icing. It can get you, but at the same time, it's a really um, good opportunity to, to grow um, as, a, as a dancer because we don't get to perform on stage as often uh, like we do during Nutcracker. So it's actually a big growth period. The main thing I think that helps both mentally and physically is that at the end of November I do a lot of meal prepping and frozen um, meals that we have made so that way it's off my mind mentally to be worrying about it or planning for that and then uh, physically it's helpful because my body is getting good food instead of the temptation to go out to fast food or whatever is easiest. Uh, yeah it's a challenge so um, mentally I just try to take it one day at a time. Nutcracker is a long run, it's about five weeks long. We do two weeks in Dallas and four weeks in Fort Worth. So, you know, you gotta get a haircut in the, in the middle of the run. So, and water, drinking water, try to drink a gallon a day too, uh, just to flush out everything and stay hydrated. Mentally, just try to stay positive. I always believed in a quote, positive attitude leads to positive results. I have to say my favorite Nutcracker moment happens every year, and it's uh, right before Snow Pa and Snow Scene, um, and we're all on the ramp, and then the Kabuki drops, and we all come running down the ramp, and when I'm Snow Queen, I just get to come out to the most beautiful set, and the dry ice is all over the stage, and it's just as magical on stage as it is in the audience. You know, once we finish rehearsing after you know, months and putting in all the work. Uh, once we finally get out there and perform and it goes well and we're all, you know, feeling so happy and the curtain comes down and there's that sense of camaraderie and celebration between all the dancers. Um, I think that's my favorite part. <laughs>